There's the flying deer. It's like 210 passenger sitting all on earth for you, Johnny. Well, he got this trailer in one, but it's his first go on camera. So, I'm quite enjoying my uh, little day out so far. John Deere man, well one of them is. Man the harvester, I think it is, I think that's his case. Two brothers. Uh, tidy outfit, takes me back to my youth, whenever we, I learned to cart cities, drop in trailers, and try to keep up with the harvester man. Obviously it was a lot longer to cart than this, like, you should have to keep a man going nearly a mile away, like, and that ain't no mile from here to the pit. You going for a wee flight, are you? Huh? You going for a wee flight? I don't know. I suppose there's no time like the present. Yes, there? yes, yes, yes. Try my work all done. I've got plan B like of all the head rigs. I got all that and then I was over next to house kit and stuff as well. So. Yes, I have the pet done to death. I think I'd like to do a few more rolling shots on the stripes. Yeah, yeah. With the gimbal and a few more just walking as he comes up towards around me with the harvester. Yeah. Uh, and then maybe an hour rolling with, with Damien straight out of the field into the yard and our lap with him. Just yeah. whenever he's so close and it's slightly different to the road run we did. Yeah, no problem. Perfect. So you want to learn how to build this drone then, do you? So I'm going to fly a, a flight with a drone myself and then we'll give you a word. Oh, that's the boy. As a trainering flight. So, off we go. The other trick is routine, don't forget to hit record. Yeah. Nothing more soul destroying than having flew for, for 15 minutes and then go, ah oh, no, I had all them nice shots. See right now what you're doing is you're having to remember all the different moves you made. So like I have a playbook in my head of all the different moves I do around a vehicle and you're trying to remember which ones you got and which ones you didn't. So if you actually fly too much and too much and too much, like if I did one card and didn't hit record, I'd really struggle to remember what I hadn't done. Yeah. It's really hard to erase the memory. So. Yeah, that 16, ND 16's a bit right there. So, here we go. Hit up. Can't fly a drone without the head up, like. <laughs> the boys in the office wonder why I do that. It's part of the reflection. I can see a reflection of myself in the, the screen of the phone. Yeah. So all I'm doing is just cutting down the, the amount of sky I can see in the screen. <laughs> so I can get a better look at the picture. Like, you'll see me if it's a really glaring sunny day. I'd be crouched straight down in the shadow of the jeep or the shadow of a tree or something. I'm always trying to blend in and I'm always trying to be in the shadow. So, that's one move done. Already done, you waste no time. That's the other thing I do is. I try not to be too jerky on my spins and my turns and my trying to to reframe my shot. I try to leave it that most of the shot is usable just by going real slow. 
The only time I do a fast spin or a turn or a kick is when literally I've let something drive out of shot and I'm trying to reframe as fast as I can. Otherwise, everything's. I'm trying to go for that silky smooth. Um, you know, all of the shots usable. If you wanted to watch this in real time, you could. My case is looking well in the JF, nice colour coordinated outfit, like. It is tidy now, yeah. Uh, definitely, there's a bit of pride in the machinery in, the, in this place, like. And I guess that's. You kind of get two extremes with the farmers, like. You, you get they really 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 don't care about machinery in any way shape or form and it's just literally a tool to get the cows happy and producing more by feeding them good stuff or whatever the reason they have the machine yeah. but then you have the other extreme the men that actually do take a little bit of pride in their flight like these guys actually get a contractor to do their main bulk of this work this is an out farm where they they have young stock or finishing cattle or I can't remember what it is but I'll get the full story later. So, because the silos are tight, it was built in the 70s, uh, the big the big shovels just can't get in, can't cope with it, and it's, you know, a contractor, at this time of year when they're flat to the tin, they're not going to prioritise this job, so I guess they still decide it's worth wheeling out the JF and getting it done. Aye. What's that parking down the road? Somewhere up at that CVX. I think it's one of the old CVXs. So, we're on top of things. Johnny's in chatting in the 6210. No, I suppose you, as much as anybody, appreciates the good weather and the quad. Well, like. oh, that's it, like, aye. So, then there's nothing a good hat in a coat, doesn't well, that's Doesn't go <laughs> wrong either. So, so, oh, I have my fair tightness of it. Like, at the start of the year when you're swimming for laser, Last week of February, first two, three weeks of March, it is cold. Uh, so, that's, but as long as you're busy and keep moving, you're always going to be warm. Yeah. So you're, you know. I suppose you're on and off loading the uh, sore and. You know, when you're when you're when you're doing big acres a day, you, you are busy. It's not like you're just sitting there mm, all day long. It's uh, on and off and on and off, and you know. Uh, there must be a, a lot of farmers then, sort of, that are aware of ground compaction and the benefits of having the less compaction on the ground stuff. Well, that's it, like, busy, you, like. you can imagine, not that there's anything wrong with them big tractors and a big source, but they are getting a wee bit big. Uh, you know, a 250 horsepower tractor running a big sower, it's a bit overrated, like a, a lesser tractor, like that tractor there, that case would run a two ton sower as good as one of them big, and that's only 130 horsepower, uh, as big as one of them other tractors, so you don't realise how little of a, an impact you're making. You know, especially on wetter ground. You don't see you don't see me in there at all. No matter how wet the ground is, unless you know, unless it's a pure gutter, but like Ah, you shouldn't be in, in the first place. In the first place. Like, but yeah. well to be fair, this year was, was a lot it was a drier drier winter and a drier spring and I know my fertilizer count was down, but I still have the same boys coming back to me. You know. Uh, because they're happy with the service and happy with the you know they know I know where the wet parts of the field are now, and they know I know where to go easy and stuff like that there, so. The spraying's the same, like, there's a lot of places I can go where you're never going to get near a wet tractor. Yes. So you're not, like. What sort of quad do you run then, or? Still love the Honda, same one, always had. Yes. Well, it's the same as the one that I had before. But I changed it at the end of last year, so that, uh. All right, okay. Just only when I was, we'd stayed in the same model, but only went up a few years fresher. You know, I'm not dishing any of the other quad manufacturers, but that's, that's the same with somebody that's Massey or somebody that's John Deere. Oh, you stick to what you yeah, know, surely, yeah. Know. And as the time was on, I get to know the mechanics of it as well. Uh -huh. sort of. That's something I learned very, very fast, as you need to be creative when never someone breaks. And carry tools, always carry tools. I've only got a couple more shots to get the the a couple more rolling shots with them striping there, the, the headlines are off. And mag mine shots, so stick a few in random places. And that's us.
Some fleet of stuff, please. Well, Johnny, how'd we get on? Aye, not too bad. Not too bad. Even got my hands dirty the day, Johnny. Yes, yes, yes. I seen you get uh, upgraded there too. To, what's the pay like? I don't know. <laughs> Everybody needs to know what the pay's like. The like. pay's rubbish, rubbish, but the crack was good. Like, good. So, uh, that's all you can want for it. Aye. Johnny has uh, been recruited for a duty job tomorrow. He's coming to roll the, the lorry tires uh, onto the sella. <laughs> He'll be badly disappointed to come <laughs> 10 o'clock tomorrow, I tell you that. <laughs> How about that one, Johnny? I'm um, actually, it was real, real good days, crack too, and uh, it was nice to see something different. We trailed out for the day, like, and. There's the rod there. 6210. I know she's an SE, but at this stage of the game, they're getting hard to be that clean. Like, it, it, will, it will tolerate an SE to get one that clean. Like, uh, what way are you working the marshals, lad? Um, I'm just looking at that. I don't know. Well, we'll get three, maybe, will it? <laughs> Tuck your wing mirrors in. That's tight. That is tight, actually. That is tight. Do you, do you need me to move the tractor, do you? Maybe be better, John. I wouldn't want to mark the good disco with that. There we go. We're free now. This will make John's day now, like getting to drive this 10 series. Was that was that just the cherry on the top of the cake today, that John? Real, sir. That, but that's, is, that's like, uh, you banged the door hard enough, she didn't start the engine. <laughs> 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 she just left it. <laughs> Unreal. No, there's only 3,690 something hours in that thing, like. Aye, and she's the she's the diet feeder tractor. Aye. Uh, like, let that be less to you people. That's what a diet feeder tractor should look like. Job done, Johnny. That's it, another one ticked off the list. It must be an L695 or no, something. No, it's a job done. We've just. Uh, Spied something in the field here, Johnny. Have to go and look at this. Like. On, the, on the U turn here, he missed the gate. He didn't get the brakes on quick enough. Oh, oh, I want to see one of these in the video someday. Now well, we may need to make a lead here, make well, a contact for we, uh, for have, tomorrow. Have, oh, have words. Or do we start at the night, chap? Do we just start the night? <laughs> there she is. There she is. Not even anybody about. Nobody on her. No, they're waiting for the tea. Come on, Johnny. We'll follow. We'll follow <laughs> on into the next row. <laughs> Hi, twin beacons now. See some boss. Two colours of rims on her. Silver and red. Six nine five. S L. Brown Brothers. This here is an example of a toy made by Britons. Toy tractors that. Over here in Northern Ireland, most of the Britain's toys were as rare as hen's teeth. You didn't actually get the things that they made models of. And that was one of them. <laughs> so when you bought a self propelled sedge harvester when you were a child, you never actually seen one of them things in the field. I'll give you an example. I had two, two TW35s. Never seen one in the country <laughs> working ever, ever. Oh. 26 80 masses. Something like that. I can't remember the model that was on the Britain's one, but we had two of them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they just didn't exist in this country. No. I had a, I had a yoke with a front a front mount for the CW the front mount for the plows, the three for a plow. Oh yeah, I, yes, the one in the back and the Never seen a, a front for a plow in, in Northern Ireland. That's on her. Oh she's twin pipes now. <laughs> she just <laughs> it's like the light. That must be an old V8 in that thing or something. Oh, yeah, later up there, Johnny. Come on. The key will be on her. You know yeah. the key will be on her. The key will be on her. Come on, Ed. Later up. <laughs> now, my luck, I'd get in that thing and her. tune her up and then come through that gate. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, I need a picture of that for the Instagram. You, man, you do. I do. Well, if we do that, we'll call it job done. Yeah, right. No water. I'll make Johnny's day getting that on the Instagram. There's the new photo for the desktop of the computer. I know why well, that thing is lethal. I forgot you're a class man. You're a diehard class man. Oh, I don't know if I'm a diehard class man, like, but I don't know. It's cool, like. So I just got a pen out to uh, write my details on to tell them fancy a video. Look at the flip on top of her. <laughs> I should out the window there, John. 
the, the, the love that I really appreciate Somebody's that. Been, look at my pencil. Somebody has been abusing my stationery. Stationery. There we go. So somebody's getting a year's membership as bait for me giving me a phone call. <laughs> oh, this is like an old Dominator inside. Is it uh, similar? How does this side work? Same cabinet. Just, just, just pushing forward to get uh, the uh, Yeah. He's left the ignition on. Flat battery when he comes back. Where's the key? Uh, oh. Key should be right. Right uh, there? Uh, right about there, Johnny? Uh, yeah, right about there? That's, that's where it should be, <laughs> alright now. <laughs> Maybe she's calm. Is there a way to fix it and get some parts for her? Don't know. Yeah, he's left his jumper here, anyway. So. Yeah, Good luck. Can I share a seat there? Hi. Hi. Oh, it's been spared. 